What's going on, boys? Welcome back to the channel. All right, for today's video, I'm here with the Nintendo Direct Showcase. It's going to be showing off a lot of new Nintendo games and stuff, so I'm very excited to watch this with you guys. If you guys have heard my last reaction, it was to the PlayStation Direct. If you guys haven't checked that out, make sure you go check that out. A lot of good games out there, man, so I'm really just excited to see what's coming up. kind of wanted to watch this because I have a Nintendo Switch, and I don't really play it as much, but I do want to see what interesting games are coming out. Make sure I drop a like, subscribe if you're new. Comment down below which game you guys think is really good or which game you're planning to buy, and let me know how you guys are feeling about the whole Nintendo Direct you know in the first place the last one i did if you guys want to check that out it's on the channel the last one i did i think the crab game was like the highlight of it i'm really excited to get into this one and react to this with y'all so man if you guys are new to the channel make sure i drop a like subscribe for new all that good stuff let's skip all the formalities you know I'll check out the socials and all that and let's get into it all right chat let's lock in man let's get it everything good are you good all right let's get it 42 minutes oh my god i'm locked in 42 minutes we're locked in Let's see Nintendo back on top, man. It used to be a big three, man, and then, like, Nintendo fell the hell off, bro. Let's see. Start off with some Mario. Start off with some Mario. Mario? Didn't they just make a new Mario chat? Mario and Luigi. You back in it? That just doesn't look that bad, chat. Wait, is this like co-op or is this just like the uh Honestly these graphics are kinda like they don't look that bad. But they definitely could be better. I mean this whole system's a very different. R and Luigi Brothership. Hmm. I don't look that bad. What should I give that? November seven? What should I give that? I ain't gonna lie, you look pretty good, so I'm on like a seven. Hello everyone, I'm Shinya Takahashi, and I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. That was the first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Nine years is crazy. When was the Please last one? I don't remember the last one. seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands as well as Evolved Bros moves with Mario and Luigi. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. Bring the championships home or on the go. Bring the championships the home. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Oh, Take so on over 150 speedrunning challenges from across 13 NES games. From lightning fast beats to action packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out classified information for handy tips and tricks to help you improve. Put your skills to the test in survival mode, where you'll Wait, race so they against have like a ghost whole data of players worldwide. Mode? After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? 
Nintendo World Championships NES Edition launches on Nintendo Switch July 18th. Wait, are they? Wait, I'm not. I don't know if I'm. I'm not trying to hold them, but are they selling y'all like remastered speedrun challenges? I don't know. For the I don't know how I feel about this. Available now on Nintendo e remastered speed a speed set containing the physical edition? version Maybe of the I'm game and Maybe other I'm... bonus items is also available for pre-order. Maybe it's hella games. I don't know. The final battle of Fairy Tale is about to begin. Uh, Fairy Tale? They finna hold it. Ikuto, happy! So I don't know what it is. I just have like an aversion to anime games. From the hit anime Fairy Tale in this action RPG. Fairy Tale 2. Set in the vast kingdom of Fiore, Team Natsu prepares to finish their fight. Yeah. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. Fairy Tale 2 launches on Nintendo Switch this winter. Are you feeling about that? I'm glad I didn't look that bad. I don't look that bad. I don't know, I just have like a weird like aversion to multi dimensional I have like a weird aversion to anime games. Like sometimes those those games don't do so good or they're just like kinda lazy, if that makes sense to me. So. What is this? From Final Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn based RPG Fantasian. Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must confront an evil entity threatening all mankind. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies at once. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go! Now, let us save the world together. Fantasia Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Where are you guys been in a bag these guys could be here? Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Wait, didn't have basketball, basketball in the is first being one? added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch no sports way. game. Wait, didn't has wait, didn't have basketball from the start? That's crazy. Triple. I never played the Switch. The Switch sports game. And shoot. In two on two matches using motion controls. Not motion controls. Try out three point challenge solo. Chat, bro. And score as the many fucking the Wii, like the regular Wii. Bro, that Nintendo, that Nintendo Sports, man, that was le revolutionary, bro. That was revolutionary. I don't know if Nintendo ever gonna get back in that bag, bro. Bro, they had boxing, tennis, and then they upgraded when you got uh, Resports Resort. They had like parasailing and like, well, you know, it was wigboarding. They had wigboarding. They had like table tennis. That was it was so fire, bro. Any baskets so that you fire. can within the time limit. Up to four players can also compete in five streak battle. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two-on-two -two online matches. You playing 2K? 2K on the Wii is crazy. That's, that's cash. Wait. This I can't believe they have basketball in there. Switch Sports dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch. This is a free summer. update. This is a free update. But I just can't believe they didn't have basketball on launch. That's crazy. All right, let's see what, I'm, I'm looking for hits. So far, we haven't had a hit yet. I'm waiting for these hits.
Memories in Orbit. That actually looks really good. I'm not even trying to. It's play. an array of cartoon really classics. Array of cartoon. Leap into a new update for Disney Illusion Island. Monarch's Disney greatest Illusion detective Island. is solving a mystery, and only Mickey and friends can help in the brand new adventure, Mystery and Monarch. What happened to uh, they still doing the refurbished for throughout the, the world? Then that use the dashboard to Mickey crack each game. case. What big secret lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Island adventures await. Customize your character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure launches as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system next year. <laughs> Let's get loony in this wacky sports game. Play as Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, Porky Pig, and more across four arcade-style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four-player local co-op. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes' wacky world of sports crashes onto Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Duck? That's all, folks. Let's see if you be a big game on. Emergency meeting. New hmm. crewmen I don't know I feel and about imposter that. roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Yeah, y'all still play Among Us? Devices on other Wait, why is Among Us on the... Never mind. ...as a tracker. Y'all still play Among Us, though? invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. I'm Among a Us monster so army is at your command. Your own monster. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign it of does the look underworld. Like some and stuff. Raise monsters and lead them into the fight against the Magus' army. Plant seeds, then cultivate and harvest them to make your buddies come to life. They can then be trained for battle. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Farmagia. Switch November 1st. How y'all feel about this one? So far, I, I ain't gonna lie, chat. We, 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 we're like 12 minutes in. I ain't gonna lie. I've seen like maybe two really good, solid games so far, man. I think that, what was it, Memoria and Orbit? That looked fire. I ain't gonna lie to you. That's something I would play, like just on some chill shit. So let's, let's just keep it going. Donkey Kong Returns. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The villainous Tiki Tak tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. Obstacles in the way? Just stomp them, pound them, and roll on through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From manic minecarts to high flying rocket barrels, and even hitching a ride on Rambi. There are plenty of transportation methods available. Pass a Joy Con controller to a buddy for two player local co op. Oh, the one thing about like Nintendo, they do really well is like co-op Including games. the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. 
Donkey Kong Country Returns January HD 2025. swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. One of Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong's jungle escapades returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. All right, wow me. What we got? Time is not. Dragon Quest HD HD 2D remake. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend on an epic adventure. Memorable encounters. Perplexing challenges. And formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG remade in HD 2D. This doesn't look that bad, like graphics wise, for what they're trying to do. Forge your own path. The legacy begins. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch November 14th. What are you feeling about that, chat? That doesn't look that bad. Alright, let's So they're making the whole thing. Nintendo Direct. Welcome, everyone. Hello, I'm Hori Yuji. Dragon Quest III. How was it? It was announced on the first anniversary of the release. I'm very happy. And today, the surprise was announced. Dragon Quest I and II were released in HD 2D. The date of release was announced on the third anniversary of the release. スリーワンツーの順番でプレイしてもらうとあっと驚く展開が待っていますロトサンブサクとなるスリーとワンドツーどちらもぜひ楽しんでもらえたら嬉しいですどうもオリジュージでしたホープでロンライクホープだイーチ
and other supernatural shenanigans. Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders are available now on Nintendo eShop. Didn't they reveal this last, the last the Nintendo Direct? Meet the quirky little man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. Explore dungeons and battle monsters. Nintendo loves their RPGs. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. Plus, I hope this audio is good, chat. If it's chalk, you can team up to catch special Dempa Man. The new Dempa Man is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive Ooh, on Nintendo play? Switch July 22nd. Well, that just came out like two days ago. Some, some days ago. Strategize away in this tower defense installment of the Metal Slug series. Metal Slug attack. Take control over. of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Embark on an expedition of the damned in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. Board your stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in turn-based combat and upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. More classic titles are on the way. Play Link's classic 16-bit adventure and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past Four Swords. Experience the remake of Samus' first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Plus, coming to the new Nintendo 64, Nintendo Switch Online Mature 17 Plus collection of games. Brave the dangerous Turok. lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. And... Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in... Perfect Dark, now with online multiplayer. Online All four multiplayer games will be available for That's Nintendo great. Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. Should I do have the expansion pack? I ain't gonna lie, I just, I just pay for online. To save the day. This is Verona, a young woman with the ability to communicate with phantoms. I will take all of this girl. Join her on a journey to save her friend Ash. in this new installment in the Phantom Brave series. Take on tactical turn-based battles, where you'll combine the phantoms you've befriended with objects in various ways. Combine phantoms with certain objects to maneuver them. Combine with a cannon to attack a large area. A fan to blow enemies around. I'm not about to blow nobody. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, Phantom Brave, launches on Nintendo Hero. Switch next year. All these games are coming out in 2025. All right, chat. We about halfway through. How, how many? How many games y'all saying these are hits? How many? How many games y'all feeling like? I didn't go lie. In that last couple sequences, because I think I paused about 10 minutes ago, uh, that Luigi's Mansion looked really good. Um, I don't know. A lot of these, like, aren't really, like, kind of, like, a lot of these are, like, remakes. So it's kind of hard to really put my, like, finger on it. But I did, like, the Wii Sports, like, adding basketball. That's dope. I don't have Wii Sports, but or not the Wii Sports, Nintendo Switch Sports. But that was really dope. 
But so far, I don't know. This one's kind of take you for a, for a ride. Kind of hoping for a hit. Let's keep going. Seven arcade games featuring Marvel and Capcom characters are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as Marvel one collection. Fighting collection. Clash in X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Duke it out in Marvel vs. Capcom 2 New Age of Heroes. Take down the Kingpin in the combo. beat em up side scroller, <laughs> the Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co op in The Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. They didn't make a new Marvel vs. Capcom game. Yeah. Mario? The latest game in the Mario Party series takes place on an enormous island resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party mini games yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll so compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow Why do they just add these? Wait, chat, am you I stupid? Why do they just add these to the last Mario Party game? Why are they trying to... Are they trying to get another $60 off, bro? Game coins to get a star I respect price this, bro. When they're on People flash buy it. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Roll'em Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow says 40 of the spaces? Can That's so path. Mickey. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows Yo, if I'm its I'm playing top. with Jay and them, and someone runs with 40. Along with five new game bro. boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, there's a wide variety to enjoy. Also, up to 20 players can go head to head online in the Coupathlon mode. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be you underway. Eggplants. When the Super Mario That's Party crazy. Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system on October slide on that 17th. One. I ain't gonna lie. But that's kind of crazy, though. Wait, hold on. That was the latest. In Wait, um, that's kind of crazy because the last Mario Party was Super Mario Party Super Superstars. They that came with like what two maps, and then like four characters, and like you know it's not all the mini games and stuff. But they did all this. They could have just added all that to Super Mario uh, Mario Party Superstars, like as a DLC, like and added like six more maps. Hey, I mean they try to get another sixty out of y'all, man. Installment in the Mario Party series. Super Mario Party Jamboree with new boards, mini games, 20 player online gameplay, and more. Get ready for the biggest Mario Party in series history. And now, please take a look at this. We got Shoby Song. Zelda?
Hello, everyone. That was, that was I'm right. Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? Here, we wanted to create a new gameplay style that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games with a top-down perspective. To explain more, please take a look at this video. Stolen away across the vast lands of Hyrule, they just drop, uh, strange rifts have appeared the last Zelda game and have taken many people, I mean, the including uh, Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri-rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds. Are they guessing making tables? I'm stop, and man. unusual <laughs> things like water blocks. I'm so How you me. use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Oh, yeah, Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. I'm making tables and beds and even battles will look. <laughs> let me let me stop. Bro. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's, crazy. That's not all, though. You can also create Wait, echoes so of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda Ooh, series will also be available at launch. Chat. We hope you're looking for- Wait, this looks fire. Oh, hold. Oh. Let me play show for two seconds. Switch lights. This looks fire. All gold. It's a switch light though, so that's kind of like so. But like this is system this inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new adventure. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Thank you, Mr. Aonuma. So how are you feeling about Legend of Zelda? Uh, was it Echoes of what? Echoes of Wisdom. How are you feeling about that? I ain't gonna lie, a game without Link. I don't know how that's going. How that's gonna do? But we'll see, Please man. Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. Let loose and party on. Just dance. You don't want to waste my time. We taking over. Flipping the script. You better watch out, boy. This is how we live. You know I'm a fighter. My vibes take you higher. Head to toe, I'm designer. Get your hands in the air, but you just can't touch me now. Da, 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 da. 
Yo, Just Dance back in the day was, was hits. Just Dance used to be so many hits back in the day, A man. new Lego adventure is on the horizon. Oh, a, new, a new Lego game, let's see. It's the world of Horizon in Lego form. Join Machine mm. Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world from an ancient evil. Journey through lush landscapes. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Climb up onto tall necks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. From the nimble watchers to mighty sawtooths, you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. I'm Thunderjaw, chat. You, progress, <laughs> God, you can yeah. help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. Lego Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo fire. Switch this holiday. Them Thunder Jaws are no joke, chat. If you played the original a Horizon, journey begins. There's no way they're making a straight sequel. They should would love this game. Go to that. Experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their okay, family no, and friends. A, I Explore alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. Create new paths for yourself. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Careful though, not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. Chat, I remember when this first dropped, uh, I don't know if this was like a PlayStation Direct or something. But when this first dropped, bro, I was like, a game about a cat? Honestly, it didn't look that bad when, when, it, when it dropped. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch this holiday. Check it. Welcome home, Hobbit. Hobbit. Still if back. you've ever wanted to live like a Hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, now a leisurely existence nestled away in an idyllic, quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. Customize your appearance. Decorate your home and settle into life in the Shire. As a newcomer to the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden, fish, forage, and cook. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by hosting a dinner party with your homemade dishes. Plus, you can trade with your neighbors for unique decorations or special ingredients for even tastier meals. Friendly hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival when Tales of the Shire launches on the Nintendo Switch system this holiday. I don't know about that. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Objection! Two Ace Attorney spin-off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo Switch as one collection. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence, then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. Enjoy all new hand-drawn character visuals from the original series character designer or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation to explore the gallery where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. 
Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Ace Attorney. Y'all fuck with that, man? Y'all fuck with Ace Attorney? After a devastating attack by unknown assailants, Takumi Samino's life gets turned upside down. A mysterious school mascot suddenly appears. While Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. <laughs> Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. 100 days? That's crazy. The academy shrouded in secrecy. <laughs> and the unavoidable loss of allies. Can Takumi survive this 100-day trial, colored by extreme and despair, and return to his normal life? The creators of Danganronpa present The 100 Line Last Defense Academy, launching line, on Nintendo Switch line. early no next year. Okay. That's, I don't look that bad. Wait, that story's actually kind of interesting, though. Like, Embark on a your host for 100 days? You gotta, you gotta protect the school for 100 days or protect your, like, yourself? Either way, I didn't look that bad. Generations. Didn't look that bad. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Rule and expand the empire of Varen across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes no who have turned Saga. to darkness. In combat, Use returning saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the story. Safeguard your empire's future and protect your legacy from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Romancing Saga 2 Revenge, Revenge of the, of the seven, seven launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Not that bad. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. All right, last announcement chat. Last announcement chat. Let's check it out. Cosmic Gear Galactic Federation Research Facility. Samus up here. Another Metroid? Metro Prime 4. 
don't look that bad. The graphics actually look really good in that. The graphics look really good in that. How are you feeling about that, man? I feel like every game, like if it's not a remake, every game came out in twenty. It's coming out in twenty twenty five. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. That was a first look at Metroid Prime Four Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for twenty twenty five. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. W W W. All right, chat. That's that's it for the Nintendo Direct, man. How we feeling, bro? How we feeling? On a scale from one to ten, rate it. Rate it in the comments down below. How y'all feeling about it? I'm going to lie, apart from, let me see, there was a couple good games up in here. I flipped the Mario and Luigi for sure. Fairy Tale didn't look that bad. Nintendo Switch Sports was all right. MIO, probably the, probably the best game IMO in this whole thing. Memories in Orbit? Memories in Orbit, yeah. Farmagia was cool. Donkey Kong Returns, like, cool. Dragon Quest, not really a big RPG fan, so those were, those were pretty all right. A lot of, like, Nintendo classics. Phantom Brave didn't look that bad. Super Mario Party Jamboree actually looked like a hit. I ain't gonna lie. That might be a cop, if anything. Legos of Wisdom was okay. Legos Horizon was, was cool. And there's the Stray remake. And I don't know. Andrew Line didn't look that bad either, man. So, at Metro 4, obviously. So, I don't know. Out of 10, I'd probably go... I want to be generous. Let's go 6 out of 10. I think there's not... It wasn't enough for me to, like... Oh, like this like popped out to me or anything like that it was just kind of just you know kind of regular you know it wasn't anything too crazy but let me know how y'all feel about that in the comments down below thank you guys so much for watching this video man your actions are fun they're actually fun to really just check out all the games all to see what's coming out on all these systems i play man this is really dope man and i just really appreciate y'all you know hanging out and watching the videos and make sure to come out to the twitch man come support me on the twitch man we watch these live man so if you guys want to come out to the twitch it'll be really a lot and if you guys are watching this on youtube make sure to drop a like subscribe if you're new check out the socials go check out my last reaction to the playstation event and also check out all the new videos i'm going to be out of town by the time you guys see in this video so i hope you guys enjoyed the video man Oh, yeah, boys, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah, boys, take care. Peace. All right, chat. Nintendo Direct, man. Nintendo Direct.